Hello everyone, my name is Hugh Sanders, and first I'd just like to start off by saying I hope everyone is doing well during this difficult time. Congratulations on being done with college in less than a week. I hope everyone makes it through finals okay, and I hope to see you at graduation August 21st. Jumping right into it, I did my case presentation on Netflix. A brief history on Netflix, it was founded in Scotts Valley, California in 1997. Uh, it started out as a website company that shipped DVDs via mail delivery to subscribers all over the United States. Subscribers could pick movies off the genre they liked. Analysts called this a good niche market. In 2002, Netflix became profitable by launching its IPO to raise capital, and the video rental landscape was forever changed, closing down places like Blockbuster and movie rental places. Moving into the SWOT analysis, Netflix's original content has paid off as the service has surpassed all competitors in terms of total subscribers with 93 million. Netflix has 49 million subscribers in the, TV, in the United States, which is so big because the United States is the leading country in online TV streaming, which supplies a huge market. Then weaknesses for Netflix is despite its popularity, Netflix has many earning many earning difficulties in negative cash flows because of its financing and increasing amount of Netflix's exclusive content. Netflix also only allows four people or a select few of people watching under one account. For instance, I know you've all been there. I've been kicked off my mom's account numerous times because my sisters were watching at the same time I was. I don't think you're allowed to have more than four people watching at one time. Move, moving into the opportunities for Netflix, expanding internationally should be on their top priority list because it would be a great opportunity to expand in other countries which would give them more of a reach over their competitors, which would up their subscriptions. They could also look into doing live TV, like live sports or live, like CNN or Fox News. People that don't have cable would, would pay more for Netflix if they would offer these services. The threats for Netflix would be Hulu, Apple TV, Disney, and other live streaming services. The recommendations for Netflix would be to, to I believe Netflix is primarily streaming provider and has exclusive content that sets it apart from its competitors. Many would agree considering Netflix hold the, holds the highest number of subscribers more than any other stream, so streamer. I think Netflix could capitalize on its superior service by tweaking its pricing strategy to maximize its earnings. That said, I believe the streaming service should increase the subscription from $8.99 to $9.99. I know that would make a lot of people mad, but the pricing strategy in turn would increase Netflix's revenues by more than 10% and it would justify Netflix's overspending. By slightly increasing the service charge, I believe subscribers would believe the extra dollar dollar per month would be justified by Netflix's array of quality and original content. Additionally, I believe Netflix should consider shifting its expansion strategy from growth mode to sustainability. Better yet, the company could utilize a hybrid of growth and sustainability by carefully tweaking its business strategy. The service already has 93 million members, a number almost 40% higher than Hulu, its next largest competitor. This number is already exceptional, but there is much more streaming market to capture, especially internationally. As I said earlier, Netflix could focus on international expansion while limiting overall expenses to repeat the benefits of growth model while enduring sustainability. As I stated earlier, Netflix is a is w well over their competitors, and these would all set them above. All considered, Netflix should move forward cautiously with an expensive limited model. An increased pricing strategy should be regarded to 
increase revenues without losing too many members dramatically. The carefully execution of these tactics will allow Netflix to grow sustainability and capturing its subscription leader on the bottom line. Thank you for listening, and I hope you all have a good summer.